Hey everybody, what's going on? Thanks for tuning in to another video of One Tool A Week. If you're new to the channel, we take a look at tools every week. So if you love tools, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. So what is it that we're going to be taking a look at this week? Well, this week I went ahead and picked up a new tool as always. And that's going to be this baby right here. We're going to be taking a look at the Silly Gun Cocking Gun, which I happened to purchase. And I thought it was a pretty neat little item, but let's go ahead and open it up and check it out now today we're going to be using this little puppy right here and this is going to be the spider co little native right there and of course you open it up and it's going to be the rec model edition which if you don't know what rec is going to stand for is going to be the river edge cutlery so let's go ahead and open up this baby with this slide it open put that to the side which is a very nice knife and if you look at it it's just a very nice spider co. So let's close it back up and open this baby up. And this is what we're going to have. So of course, this is the package. It comes with the gun and some instructions right there. And let's move this to the side and of course, throw the box over there. So this is going to be it. And as you can tell, it is a very compact design, very small. And we're going to talk about that right now. So the total... Total size on this baby is going to be the actual length right there is going to be three and three quarters of an inch long right here. So if you think about it, an average cocking gun is going to be much longer. And on top of that, it's going to extend because you're going to have that rod that pushes through depending on what uh, cocking gun you get. It's going to be different ratios. This is going to be a 12 to 1 ratio. If you're wondering, that way you're doing specific work. This is what it's going to be ratioed at. Now, of course, the, the tallness on this is going to be seven and a quarter of an inch tall. And again, it's just going to be a 12 to 1 ratio. If you look to the back, there is no back. You press it and that, that over here in the front, which we're going to see, you're going to have a little hook right here if you want to hang it. And also, let's go ahead and move this out the way, which slides off. And of course, these are just instructions, which I'm going to go ahead and show you in a little bit. So the way you load it up is you go ahead and you press this. And when you press it down, you're going to see that this section right. Let me see. This section opens up and you let go and it closes back up. Now, this is going to be about some thick grade of sanding paper, which is going to make the friction. That way it pushes it back. So let's go ahead and grab this puppy right here. And which, of course, this is going to be a 10 ounce cocking. You slide it back there. You let go of it and you push it. And then you, let's go ahead and cut the end. Cut it out. And you're going to have this. So if you go ahead and start using the cocking gun. You're going to see that it's cutting it and it's opening it up and it's already dispensing the cocking. And it's just pushing everything forward, which is really neat. And as soon as you stop, it doesn't push anything out. So once you get to this point, you're going to see the shortness. And of course, for tight, tight areas where you're going to have a hard time using it or hard time using a regular cocking gun, it is going to be very nice to have this short section. Now, whenever you go ahead and you're dispersing it, you're going to notice that in the back right here, it's creating a cut. So that cut is actually cutting right there and you're. You could see it on the inside where it's pushing everything. Now, let's say you need some extra space that you're going to be using. So you could go ahead and cut this excessive piece. And there you're going to have it, guys. You're going to have even a shorter section that you're going to be using in case you need to get into a tighter spot, which is going to help you out a whole lot getting into areas, cabinets, underneath cabinets. That way you could go ahead and cock whatever you have to. Now, of course, if you want to remove it, all you do is just push it back out. And there you're going to have it. As you can see, I already cut this section right here. And, of course, your cocking gun, everything seems to be normal and then if you want to use it again all you got to do is just push it back on there which of course it's not going to fit like that but you got to press the gun backwards and once you have it on there just go ahead and reuse it all over again which is going to push it all back again 
It's going to disperse the sealant, which is very nice. Again, guys, let me know what y'all think in the comments below. I forgot to mention that whenever you're done with the tube, in case you want to reuse it again, down here, you're going to have a poking device. That way you can break it all up and remove whatever's gunked on there. And then you can just go ahead and place it back on there by just putting it on one side and locking it back up. So that's a very nice little feature that it comes with. And again, guys, the compactness is going to be very nice just to have all the, all the way around and have that extra space to work wherever you have to. As always, let me know what y'all think in the comments below. And thanks for watching. One tool a week, guys.